Everyone knows that I love some good, <laughs> unscripted reality TV. But with so many shows like Real Housewives of Orange County, Potomac, New York City, Atlanta, New Jersey, D.C., Beverly Hills, Miami. Holy moly, is she still going? Melbourne, Sydney. Let's speed this up, shall we? Dallas, Salt Lake City, Ultimate Girls Trip, Jersey, Auckland, Budapest, Durban, Cape Town, Napoli, Lagos, Amsterdam. And so many I can't even pronounce. There was like 49 different ones. Well, lucky you. I decided that I wanted to watch them all. But I don't really have time. Okay, I have plenty of time. But I don't really have the desire to sit through every single season. Especially the boring ones. I still want to know what happens. I'm going to be watching all of the reunions of Real Housewives of Orange County. Starting from season one. We have 17 seasons to go so far. And that's if I get caught up in time. So let's get into it, shall we? So in this season, we have Vicky, Joe, Lori, Gina, and Kimberly. Joe shares that the show has been a positive experience for her. She loves getting emails from a bunch of teenagers asking where she got her clothes and her makeup. And then brushes over the fact that she got a bunch of emails talking about how she needs to leave Slade because he treats her super badly. Isn't Slade the villain from Teen Titans? Maybe it's the same guy. So Slade and his mother were talking about driving through Alaska and Joe made a comment about, isn't there ice there right now? And <laughs> honestly, I never thought about the fact that during the summer, Alaska might not have ice. I kind of just thought it would be like winter year round. So I'm with you there, Joe. And then she mentions getting a bunch of emails about how she's not representing the housewife race very well. What? Then it cuts to Slade drooling over Joe in a French maid outfit, and they're talking about their sex life and stuff, and I don't know why this was included, but good for you, I guess. Then, oh my god, then for some reason, it cuts to Slade complaining to Joe about picking up poop. And what is Bravo's obsession with dog poop, guys? So as she's picking up poop with this grocery bag, she didn't think to check it to make sure there wasn't a hole in it or double up or something, and says that there's a hole in it and it got through the bag. What the fudge? Gross! I could have, I could have done without that, okay? Thanks. But there's gonna be a whole theme of this, which is so great. Love that for me. <laughs> Slade talks about how he's a black Amex card holder and how they shut down the whole store just for him. And then in the confessional, Joe talks about how they love spending their money. Ah, uh, the 2006 economy. I was a child, but I wish things cost what they cost then now, but it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, the whole freaking interview is just a super snooze fest. So I skipped ahead a little bit, and then something caught my ears. Joe and Slade broke up, because they're just dating, they're not married. But they broke up, and Slade got caught going out with Lori, which is another cast member on Real Housewives of Orange County. Lori and Slade weren't only going out together, but they were caught making out at a club. And get this, Joe saw them making out and went up to them. She says, enjoy your date. And then <laughs> Slade is like, whoa, 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 it's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Slade pretty much just bombards her with flowers and notes and love letters and phone calls. Then Joe decided she wanted to work it out with Slade. Well, while they were working it out, Kimberly said that Slade is still seeing Lori behind Joe's back, allegedly. But don't worry, it wasn't true, according to Slade. So now Joe doesn't talk to Lori or Kimberly, and her and Slade worked it out. They're dating again, but not re-engaged yet. But Joe does want to be re-engaged. Slade just says something's holding Joe back from being the perfect woman, so... I guess Slade's waiting to re-propose to her when she forgives him or something? Now we cut to Gina. 
She complains about how she looks fat, and the camera added 50 pounds instead of 15, which kind of caught me off guard that that was the first thing she pointed out. She then keeps on talking about how people recognize her in public, and when she's hanging out with Joe, people recognize them even more. And then they cut to a clip of Jean buying a new car for her daughter because, like, the window button broke or something, and driving a convertible is obviously unsafe. Then they talk about some boring baseball draft stuff, and honestly, I do not care. <laughs> Gina says she learned how to cook in the last five years, so she's been at home cooking more instead of relying on the housekeeper or maid or their chef to do it. And then she talks about how Shane bullies her daughter to make sure she dresses more conservatively. Gina then talks about the blogs and articles that came out, assuming that Shane was gay because he's a virgin and he doesn't seem overly sexual, which maybe he's asexual or not even putting a label on it. It could really be anything. Maybe he's just not that kind of person since he wants his sibling to dress conservatively. Maybe he's a more conserved, shy guy. It's so weird that, like, they're like, oh, you're not hoeing it up, so therefore you're not straight. Then they talk about how, like, the baseball team picks on him and stuff for it, too. And he says that he doesn't show that he's attracted to girls, but he definitely is. Gina then explains that, like, he's not dating because of long-distance stuff and how... It would be hard having a hot girlfriend in Arizona when he's going to Colorado or something. And that he is definitely not gay. She literally cannot say that enough. She just keeps saying it. Like, why are we even talking about this right now? I don't understand. I guess the tabloids made it popular. And then she talks about how she learned to be more careful with what she says when the cameras are on. Kind of sounds boring to me. I don't want you to be careful. Come on, spew some stuff so they can take a clip of it and be like, remember when you said this? Because that's freaking great, bro. It's bad for your mental health, but good for me. <laughs> now, let's meet Vicky. She's in quite a few of these seasons. She talks about how she's down to earth. And after re-watching the season, she realized that she kind of takes too much control of things. She was a control freak. But, I mean, in her defense, she does it the right way. Her way. And that's something she's working on, of course. And then she talks about how her son, Michael, isn't really as bad as the show made him look, I guess. They made him look, like, lazy and mean. And she talks about how he went to a Catholic school, and then now he's going to a more liberal school, and that's why he's acting up, I guess. Then she talks about her daughter Brianna's new boyfriend, Kobe, and how they're happy together. And she mentions that Lori's working with her at the insurance office. <laughs> then out of nowhere, she's like, and then someone called me Miss Piggy. Like, that is so rude. Don't. <laughs> That's so rude. But it's so funny. It just caught me off guard. <laughs> I could also kind of see it. Not to be mean, but I could also kind of see it now. <laughs> well, now Vicky is an empty nester. Both of her kids are grown up, so she's burying her nose in her work. And then she's talking about all of these, like, surgeries she had as a kid or something. I don't know. I'm just sitting there thinking, when is Lori going to pop up? I want to hear her side of the story of her and Slade. No offense, Vicky, but I'm here for the drama. So I fast forwarded a little, and then a blessing from the Bravo gods came through. Up next, we have Lori. Someone, anyone, ask this woman about Slade. She talks about all these emails and mail that she gets from people asking her to sign <laughs> and send it back or give her their autograph and stuff like that. And then she talks about how, like, the dad of one of the Laguna Beach reality cast sent her, like, these expensive $750 shoes. And he asked her on a date that she hasn't gotten back to him. She just kept the shoes and ran. <laughs> Finally, after all of this nonsense chatting, someone asked her about Slade. Slade told her that him and Joe were broken up for good. So he's free game. Then 
Every time Lori and Slade went out on a date, Joe would be there, and she would be watching. Then Lori said the last time she saw Slade was at the L.A. club, where Joe came up and was like, enjoy your date. But nobody's going to ask about the alleged affair they were still having while Joe and Slade were trying to get back together. So we don't know if that's true or not, but I wish they would have just asked. Lori talks about her new guy, and then about all of the criticism she received by being on the show. It was another snooze fest. <laughs> she talks about her kids, and she talks about that son that's in juvie, and now he's out now, and he's doing much better. Lori kind of brags about being a MILF to all of her son's friends. But don't worry, guys. This isn't MILF Manor. She's not going after any of her son's friends. Kimberly wasn't at the watch thing, so I guess she doesn't get a recap. And then they all sit around this TV and talk in the classic patio furniture. And the rest of them is pretty much just watching clips of the show, and it's all kind of boring stuff. They finally bring up the Joe and Lori drama. Let's get into it! And... Nothing happens. What the hell was even that? They were just, like, civilized and agreed to disagree? No screaming. No yelling. No drinking. What is this? Ugh, whatever. That's the end of the reunion of season one. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like or dislike, leave a comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next video where I'm talking about something else, probably. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye guys! In this video, I'm going to be watching all of the reunions of Real Housewives of Orange Slade talks about how he's a black Amex holder. Slade talks about how he's a black... How he's a black... So after Joe gets super mad and leaves, Slade pretty much just bombs bar... Bombs bars. <laughs> then Lori says the last time she slopped... Slopped. Then Lori said the last time she slopped... Oh my gosh.